drag and drop samples with Punch 2. Each of Punch 2, its 24 paths, can have its own type of drum selected. One of these types is Sample. By simply using drag and drop with any sample, you can turn any pad into a sample pad. By clicking on the pencil icon or clicking on the advanced button here, you can open the editor page for the selected pad. On the left, you can see the file menu system. You can see many folders and inside these folders, there are many samples pre-installed, which you can use. These samples are also used inside the many supplied drum presets for the sample pad type. And these drum presets are also divided into subfolders of styles of sounds. Now back to the drag and drop feature and using your own samples. As you may have noticed, the sample we used as an example fell into the main root of the file menu system. This is a factory default setting. In the menu, you can change the location for drag and drop and this is also advisable if you work a lot with your own range of samples. The first option is Select Import Drop Folder. This opens a file menu structure and there you can select the folder you like to use. The second option is Set Current as Import Drop Folder. This most likely is the easiest way to select your own folder. Please note that we kept the folder to user free for you as a good location for your own range of samples. We even created subfolders for you for different styles of samples. So since we are now in this folder, let's select in the menu Set Current as Import Drop Folder. So now this is now the drag and drop folder. Let's drag and drop. In the lower section of the file screen, you can see that the current selected drag and drop folder is displayed. Also in this menu, you can open the folder where all these samples and patch samples are located on your system. On a PC, it is Documents, Rob Harpen, Punch 2 Samples. And on a Mac, it's Applications, Rob Harpen, Punch 2 Samples. You can customize this folder, but please don't change any of the folders that starts with the number 1 or 3. The folder that starts with 2, the 2 user, you can open and change it to your own needs. Sure, you can also create another folder if you like in the main route. And an additional feature, which applies also to the drag and drop location, is that you can go outside the default location. For example, a totally different hard disk location. This location you need to select also in the menu and after selecting this location, you can set this one also as drag and drop location. In the file menu, you can toggle between the display of the factory location, show punch samples or the location you selected. In general, we advise you to stick to the factory location since hard disk these days have plenty of space and toggling between the two locations if you also like to use the factory samples is more work. If you work a lot with your own samples, wise to adjust the drag and drop location and also to back up the sample folder of yours so that you can use them again on a new system or your second system. Keep in mind that a drum kit preset of Punch 2 doesn't contain the samples itself but stores the location of the sample used. So backing up your own sample folder is essential.